Hello guys. Uh, what are we gonna do today? Today can we gonna do lesson 6.2, the total purchase price. It is a continuation where it was uh, uh, 6.1, which is a uh, computing the state uh, or the sales tax. Okay, what is the sales receipt? First, I'm gonna give you the objective. The student will be able to calculate the total purchase price, okay? What is at the end? What are when you go to the uh, to pay the item or the service, you know, that you bought, at the end, how much are you paying actually, okay? Like I said, if you go to the store, to JCPenney, to Macy's, and see, you know, a pair of shoes that it costs 120, you know can it pay 120. You can pay 120 plus the taxes. So that's what I wanted you guys to figure it out. It is a total purchase price. So when you buy something, they have to give you a receipt. Always, always they have to be, a, be what is a receipt? It is a proof of your purchase. It could be in handwriting, okay? But it still is going to be a receipt. And what is it? It is a description okay of the item or, or the service and it has to say you know i bought you know two lamps okay and i bought you know uh plates how many plates did i bought and how much it was each okay there has to be a description of that the same with the clothes they have to have the description you know it is a shirt that it was pants that it was jeans, that it was, you know, uh, leggings. They have to have the description for that. So, and the taxes, they have to have the taxes. I remember that we said already, on clothes, you have to pay the taxes. When you buy, you know, home appliances, you have to, you know, pay for taxes. When you buy in a car, you have to pay for the taxes as well. So, what are the taxes? It's a combination of the state tax, the county, and the city tax. So each of them, you know, in some states, they're gonna charge you for uh, the taxes. In the example, guys, it is exactly the same one of uh, lesson 6.1, okay? So we're just going to add one step, which is the last one. So it says, oh, but this one is really easy. Yes, I know it is really easy. This lesson, or this chapter, you know, in general, it's really, really easy. When you guys are learning, it is the concept, okay, of the uh, business math. So the total, and it was here, you know, uh, Lucas Inglés bought a new DVD, and you know, the first step, it was find the selling price, remember? So it was exactly the same example and he bought one DVD player for $199, okay? Plus, remember that he bought three films, and each of the films, it was $24.95, okay? Times three, okay? So what do we got from that? We have to do $199 plus, guys, what do we get from multiplying this, which is 74.85. In total, you know, that person, you know, was buying 273.85. But did that person is going to pay actually that money? No. This one, it is just the selling price. I'm not, he's not going to pay that money. Why? Because we need to figure it out. The sales tax. Okay? So how we do that? Very, very easy. The sales tax. I'm going to grab the selling price, which is 273.85. And I'm going to multiply by the tax rate. We already said it was 5%. Divided by 100, I'm going to multiply by 0 0.5. So this, it is going to give me a 13.69. And that, guys, it is my tax 
I'm sorry, my sales tax. Okay, my sales tax. Now, very, very important, okay? I have those two. What are we gonna do with those two? I already have the selling price and the tax rate. So, I'm sorry, the sales tax. What am I gonna do to know exactly at the end what am I going to pay? I'm just going to add them. Um, in segment, do I need to add them all the time? Yes, you do. You need to add them all the time. So the total purchase is going to be my selling price, 273.85 plus guys, the sales tax. So it is 13.69. So at the end, that person ended up paying 287.54. That guys, it is actually the total that that person is going to pay for the DVD player and the other three items, okay? So if you have any questions, please let me know. Okay, you can uh, email me or you can text me and I'm here to help you. Okay, thank you guys, bye.